One Health is an integrative and systematic approach that recognizes that the health of humans, animals and ecosystems are inseparably connected. Over the last 20 years, FAO has worked closely with partners in the evolution of this approach. This involvement culminated in the creation of a specific priority area, Better Production 3 or BP3, in its strategic framework. This evaluation reviews FAO's work in One Health between 2010 and 2023. It asks, how did FAO's work with One Health evolve? How were the results measured? And how do partners perceive FAO's work in One Health? For most of the period under review, One Health was not formally defined or embedded in FAO's strategic framework. Significant differences existed in the way the concept was understood and approached within FAO. FAO was active in the establishment of international strategic frameworks crucial to operationalizing One Health. These included the Manhattan Principles, outlining a holistic approach to preventing epidemics. The animal health sector has played a leading role in the evolution and implementation of One Health within FAO. Starting with highly pathogenic avian influenza, it has enabled the organization to make a significant contribution in early approaches. 2015 marked a significant year. FAO's work on antimicrobial resistance involved collaboration between multiple sectors and divisions, resulting in a broadening of the concept and practice of One Health. FAO's response to COVID-19 further broke down institutional silos and fostered multidisciplinary collaboration. It integrated lessons from other zoonotic crises and underscored the importance of ensuring the continuity of the food supply chain. The creation of BP3 in FAO's strategic framework presents an opportunity to continue to mainstream One Health in support of FAO's broader goals of sustainable agri-food systems for all. Recognizing that One Health transcends the purview of any one discipline or sector. Implementing One Health requires context-specific, interdisciplinary and long-term institutional support. Funding to support global, regional and inter-country work is becoming more difficult to obtain, due in part to changes in donor policies. However, new funding opportunities at the country level may benefit FAO's activities. The reliance on project funding and the consequent use of short-term contracts affects FAO's ability to build institutional memory and sustain collaborations. During the period under review, the approach used to monitor One Health-related results relied mainly on aggregated output indicators and rarely included measures of the outcomes. The approach lacked a qualitative analytical dimension, which limited the ability to assess One Health and its impact. Under BP3, a results framework has been developed, with outcomes and indicators which enable more effective monitoring. Although strengthening One Health systems is an expected outcome of BP3, indicators for this have not yet been defined. FAO's role and leadership on One Health is recognized and appreciated within the quadripartite. FAO's technical role at the regional and country level as a convener and its role in drafting the current One Health Joint Plan of Action are positive examples of that leadership. While some projects demonstrate good practices in mainstreaming gender and youth into FAO's One Health work, social inclusion is not a prominent feature in One Health projects. The evaluation makes three recommendations. Ensure the appropriate engagement of underrepresented divisions in One Health efforts so that all disciplines and sectors in the organization can contribute and benefit from adopting the approach. Update the results measurement system, including defining additional One Health result indicators to address gaps in the BP3 results framework. Provide guidance to help practitioners and project teams integrate social inclusion in their One Health initiatives. To read the full report, please visit the Office of Evaluation website.